The Portuguese sunshine beckons, casting a warm and inviting glow over the rolling hills and serene landscapes. This is a land where history and modernity blend seamlessly, offering a tranquil escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. For Prince Harry and Meghan, Duke and Duchess of Sussex, their recent move to the picturesque landscapes of Portugal marks a new chapter in their lives. This decision, though surprising to some, is a carefully considered step towards a future filled with promise and potential. A sanctuary away from the relentless scrutiny of the British media, Portugal offers a sense of familiarity and peace. The quiet village streets and serene landscapes provide a stark contrast to the frenetic pace of their previous lives, allowing them to breathe and find solace in simplicity. This is a return to European shores, a continent that embraced them with open arms during their time as working royals. The warm reception they received across Europe is a testament to their enduring popularity and the genuine affection people have for them. This move is not about seeking reconciliation with a family that seems hesitant to offer it. Instead, it is about forging a new path, one that prioritizes their well-being and happiness over the expectations and demands of others. It is about creating a loving and stable environment for their children, Archie and Lilibet. In Portugal, they can provide a childhood filled with adventure and discovery, free from the pressures and intrusions that once plagued their lives. Portugal represents a chance for the Sussexes to define their own narrative, away from the constraints of royal protocol and the suffocating expectations of an antiquated institution. Here, they can explore new opportunities, engage in meaningful work, and build a legacy that reflects their values and aspirations. This is not a retreat, but a strategic step forward. It is a bold move that signals their intent to take control of their destiny, to shape their future on their own terms. They are not running away, they are moving towards something greater. It allows them to be closer to Harry's family, should they choose to rebuild those fractured bonds. The proximity to Europe offers opportunities for reconnection and healing, should the time and circumstances be right. But more importantly, it allows them to live life on their own terms, charting a course free from the constraints of an institution struggling to come to terms with the modern world. In Portugal, they can find the balance that have long sought, a place where they can be true to themselves and their vision for the future. The vibrant culture and rich history of Portugal offer endless opportunities for exploration and growth. From the bustling markets to the tranquil beaches, every corner of this beautiful country holds the promise of new experiences and cherished memories. Engaging with the local community, Harry and Meghan can continue their philanthropic efforts, making a positive impact on the lives of those around them. Their commitment to service and advocacy remains unwavering, and Portugal provides a new stage for their endeavours. As they settle into their new home, the Sussexes can look forward to a life filled with peace, purpose, and possibility. The scenic vineyards and natural beauty of Portugal offer a perfect backdrop for reflection and rejuvenation. Their journey is far from over. With each step they take, Harry and Meghan are redefining what it means to be a modern royal, breaking free from tradition to create a legacy of compassion, resilience, and hope. As the sun sets over the Portuguese countryside, it marks not just the end of a day, but the beginning of a new chapter. A chapter filled with love, laughter, and the promise of a brighter tomorrow. In this familiar yet new location, Prince Harry and Meghan have found a place where they can truly be themselves, a place where they can build a future that is as radiant and hopeful as the Portuguese sunshine that now lights their way. The British tabloids, with their insatiable appetite for scandal, have wasted no time in dissecting and analysing every detail of the Sussexes' move. Whispers of reconciliation attempts and hidden agendas fill the gossip columns. Royal commentators, eager to offer their often unsolicited opinions, speculate on the motives behind every decision. Ingrid Seward, a longtime royal commentator, epitomizes this unforgiving stance. She argues that while Prince Harry might find forgiveness, Meghan's actions have caused irreparable damage. Her words reek of a double standard, a narrative we will dissect further. This relentless negativity ignores a fundamental truth. Meghan Markle does not owe anyone an apology. She has the right, as any individual does, to make choices that prioritise her own well-being and that of her family. The constant scrutiny and judgment she faces are not only unjust, 
but also symptomatic of a society struggling to come to terms with a strong, independent woman who refuses to be silenced. Meghan Markle entered the world stage as a successful actress, a humanitarian, and a self-made woman. She first captured the public's attention with her role in the hit television series Suits, where her talent and charisma shone brightly. But Meghan was more than just an actress. She was deeply committed to various humanitarian causes, advocating for gender equality and social justice long before she became a household name. When she married Prince Harry, she brought to the royal family a breath of fresh air, a modern sensibility that challenged the status quo. Her presence was seen as a beacon of hope for a more inclusive and progressive monarchy. Yet from the outset, she was met with a barrage of criticism, much of it rooted in thinly veiled racism and sexism. The British media, with its history of sensationalism and its often problematic relationship with race, played a significant role in perpetuating these harmful narratives. Meghan's every move was scrutinised, her words twisted, and her actions judged against an impossible standard. The relentless media scrutiny was not just invasive, but also deeply personal, often attacking her character and questioning her motives. Headlines were filled with negative stories, many of which were based on unfounded rumours and biased opinions. The media's portrayal of Meghan was often starkly different from the reality, painting her as a villain in a narrative that was far more complex. This constant barrage of negativity took a toll on her mental health and well-being. The British tabloids in particular seemed to have a vendetta against her, with paparazzi following her every move, hoping to capture a moment of vulnerability. Meghan's every gesture, every facial expression, was analysed and criticised. The pressure was immense, and the support from the institution she had married into was, at best, lukewarm. It is within this context that we must understand Meghan's decision to step back from royal life. It was not an act of disrespect, as some have suggested, but an act of self-preservation. She refused to be silenced, to be bullied into submission, or to sacrifice her own mental health for an institution that seemed unwilling or unable to protect her. Meghan and Harry's decision to step back was a bold move, one that required immense courage and conviction. They chose to prioritise their family's well-being over the expectations and demands of royal duty. This decision was met with mixed reactions, but for Meghan, it was a necessary step to reclaim her narrative and live authentically. She has since used her platform to speak out on issues that matter to her, continuing her advocacy work and raising awareness about mental health, racial equality and women's rights. Meghan's journey is a testament to her resilience and strength, a reminder that one's voice should never be silenced no matter the opposition. Her story is not just about stepping back from royal duties. It's about stepping forward into a life where she can be true to herself, free from the constraints of an institution that did not fully embrace her. Meghan Markle's narrative is one of empowerment, courage, and the relentless pursuit of justice and equality.